from John Daphne's to USA Bucks, here are 25 photos of the funniest counterfeit fails. Number 25, John Daphne. After a tough day at work, it's always nice to crack open a bottle of Jack Daniels and take the edge off. But hold on, wait a minute, this isn't Jack Daniels at all. It must be Jack Daniels' evil twin brother trying to confuse you again. Although the logo might look similar, don't be fooled by this no good knockoff. Whiskey can already be hard enough to pound down, but when you gotta drink John Daphne's, you're gonna have a bad time. Number 24, Madonna. Bring your kid to McDonald's to get them a Happy Meal and they'll be the happiest kids ever. It's not just fancy handbags and money that gets counterfeited nowadays. Fast food restaurants do as well and they fall victim to these knockoffs. If you thought the real McDonald's has some mysterious chicken nuggets, you really don't want to try the McNuggets here. Number 23, Mutant Woody. Everyone watch out, Mutant Woody is on the loose. A nuclear meltdown happened at the toy store and unfortunately, Woody has been exposed. His hands have grown to abnormal sizes and he looks like he's ready to go on a rampage at any moment now. We can only hope he'll show some mercy to whatever kid is crazy enough to buy this knockoff. Number 22, Crust Brush. Nothing out there freshens up that smile quite like a new tube of crust toothpaste. It's sure to give you that minty fresh breath that'll make all the ladies want to kiss you. Number 21, Armani. Are you starting to feel a little bit of Armani mania, but just can't afford their outrageous prices? It's basically pronounced the same, so it has to be close, right? This Armani cologne is just what you're looking for, and you don't really have to spend an arm and leg to get it. But are you willing to trust what's inside? Who knows what they put in there? Could be skunk juice, toilet water, hydrochloric acid, bleach. Who knows what this stuff is made of? Do yourself a favor and just watch out. Number 20. Tuna Puma It's summertime and time to get yourself some fancy Puma gear to show off in the sun. This Italian brand has made some stylish outfitting throughout their existence and there's no doubt that people out there want to try to copy them. But you're really not going to be looking too stylish wearing a shirt with a huge tuna on it unless you're trying to attract a bear or something. The copyright mark in the middle even has a question mark on it. This kind of makes you question what it truly is. Number 19. Pika Homer Perhaps the rarest of all Pokemon would certainly have to be the Pika Homer. Only the greatest of all Pokemon masters will ever have the ability to catch one in their lives. Here you see him featured on this towel and it's probably the only chance you'll ever have to see him again in your life. Or it's just a poorly made knockoff and someone is trying to combine two things that are popular in order to make a quick buck. Number 18. Unbelievable this is not butter. Wow, it's possible that no one can believe this. It is just so unbelievable that you must be extremely overwhelmed and we might have a panic attack at any moment now. It's quite unbelievable that a counterfeit product claiming it's not something is true. But if it's not butter and it's a knockoff of something that's not butter, what is it? Number 17, Mountain Lightning. Many of us are willing to buy soda knockoffs on a regular basis, but just something doesn't seem too refreshing about Mountain Lightning. Mountain Dew already has mysterious qualities to it like being able to dissolve a mouse within a week. So what could this stuff be possibly capable of? Your best bet is to just try to avoid any drink that has the word mountain in it. Number 16, Ill-Tempered Birds. Those gosh darn birds are quite mean, rebellious, annoyed, displeased, hostile, mad, but certainly not angry. It seems like knockoff brands are beginning to use thesauruses to come up with these knockoffs. Such is the case with Ill-Tempered Birds. This could be one of the best toy knockoff attempts ever, but they really could have used a shorter synonym. Number 15, Chevrolet. Got myself a new Chevy truck. Can't believe the amazing price on it. Turns out they're making knockoff trucks as well and it's probably a good idea not to buy any car you find that's a little bit cheaper than normal. No word on how well this thing works, but we can probably tell you this car is a scam. Number 14, Deets by Nani. Everyone is looking for some stylish headphones and most people can't wait to get their hands on some Beats by Dre. But if you're looking through an electronics shop in Chinatown, you might come across some Deets by Nani. Basically, all they did was flip the B into a D and there you have it. Some fresh, stylish Deets headphones. The sound quality might not be all that great and they might break in a few days, but at least people think you might have got some stylish headphones. Get your Deets before they sell out. Number 13, Arm & Hatchet. If there's a brand and a demand for something, it's likely that someone is going to try to counterfeit it. Hatchets are way cooler than hammers anyways. 
It seems as though this knockoff brand knows what it's doing and it probably will succeed in selling a few boxes. But will it succeed in things baking soda is capable of? Like making volcanoes for science class? Who knows? Buy a box and find out. Number 12. Tids. Surprisingly enough, Tide is one of the most commonly knocked off brands out there, and there's just something about fake Tide products that are driving people wild. It's even said that loan sharks or petty criminals will accept Tide as payment in some cases. Here we see a strange Tide knockoff in some Asian country, and some people might be foolish enough to buy it, thinking it's the real deal. Although the colors are similar, that's about all this knockoff has in common with the actual Tide, and anyone in the US is gonna laugh at this. Number 11. Corono Corono and Lime go together like two peas in a pod, but we can't tell you how well they go together when Corono gets added to the mix. It's one thing to make your own alcohol legally, but it's a whole nother thing to try to pass it off as a brand label and try to sell it to people. Any seasoned Corona expert will know right away by the taste and not let this fake logo fool them. Number 10. Extrat People chew gum all the time and a few brands out there are doing better than other ones. You might have heard of Wrigley's Extra Gum, which has extra flavor to it, right? Well, what about X-Rat? What's this supposed to be? Your ex-girlfriend that snitched on you? All they had to do was switch a few letters around and just like that, we got ourselves some knockoff watermelon gum. Hopefully this is just a joke or one of those prank gums you see at the gift shops. Whatever the case may be, it looks like they went through some extra trouble getting this one done. Number 9. Sharpay even marker brands are becoming so popular that people are trying to make counterfeits of them. With a similar font and design on display, once again they simply change a letter around to try to pass it off. It's possible these knockoff markers were made in Taipei, Taiwan, which would sort of explain the spelling. Could it possibly live up to the hype of real Sharpies? And will you be able to scribble inappropriate things on your friends' heads while they're trying to sleep? These are good questions and you might have to buy them to find out. Otherwise, you'll never know if Sharpie has been the one ripping you off. Number 8. Absids Adidas is another brand that many imitators attempt to replicate, but it doesn't always come out so great, and much of the time, some weird words will be created. It comes to the point where counterfeiters have to come up with new names for it that other counterfeiters haven't used yet. This time, they slightly changed the logo, but the name is just far away from even being close. Number 7. Crispy Rice Cereal is another thing that we'll willingly buy as a knockoff at a grocery store, and here's one of them. Crispy rice just doesn't quite have that cool ring to it that Rice Krispies does. They're hoping that making the box as closely as possible that it's gonna pass off as a real thing. When will someone just come up with their own ideas already? It appears as though many people will sacrifice a little bit or a lot of quality just if the logo is similar. Number 6. Pizza Hut huh? Pizza Hut has gained a lot of popularity and as we mentioned before, Fast food places are getting targeted by swindlers and petty counterfeiters trying to make a quick buck. How long will it take for someone to notice this isn't a real Pizza Hut? In places like China, possibly a little bit longer due to the overwhelming amount of counterfeit things there. It's probably edible as long as they don't use fake cheese. That stuff is gross. Number 5. Gurgio Armwini so apparently Armani wasn't curing your Armani mania, and you just might have wanted some type of clothing to go with your bottle of knockoff cologne. Well, you came to the right place if you found this high-class Gurgio Armwini hat, or however you pronounce it. You probably can't even tell the difference until you read the label, right? Number 4. Franz Tormers the Transformer movies, especially the ones with Megan Fox, are some of the best movies ever. However, she got replaced by a knockoff too. The trend continues with Frams Torners, which might sound like something someone with dyslexia would say. Still, even at this point, it's gonna take someone who's never spoken English before to try to persuade them to buy this. Number 3. The Triple Arches China's at it again, and their knockoffs keep getting stranger and stranger. They might as well just put the name in Chinese because that doesn't even look like a real word. Now the logo is just completely botched, and even someone with double vision wouldn't be able to tell what it is. Number 2. USA Bucks Grab yourself a cup of joe and feel patriotic while doing it, because you finally made it to USA Bucks. Starbucks is certainly one of the most addictive coffee brands out there, and the famous green circle with white lettering is sure to get plagued by knockoffs from time to time. Number 1. Daidas Okay, here we go. This is the worst Adidas knockoff on the market, and the spelling is so mixed up that you might have a seizure just looking at it. Adidas only has four different letters, but this person managed to mix them up enough to the point where you have no idea what it is. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day.